Hey guys, um, today I'll be showing you a proof of concept video on how would one would go about putting a Game Boy Advance game from the cartridge onto their Nintendo 3DS. Now obviously it doesn't have a Game Boy Advance slot that like you're not playing it off the cartridge directly so what you're gonna need for this is a R4i or a similar flash cart for the original DS a Game Boy Advance game obviously 3DS obviously a DS Lite or an original DS and you're gonna be wanting to use a soft modded 3DS because you're gonna need to a way to install CIA files and also you'll need to use a Windows computer so to get the utility to back up your um, Game Boy Advance cart, you're going to want to take out your you going to want to put it in your computer using an adapter or whatever, using a memory stick adapter, I don't know why. Alright, now that you're on your Windows computer or whatever, you're going to want to look up GBA Backup Tool. And then you're going to want to go to this website, Game Brew. Click download, save it wherever. So there you um, click on this, and you move all this. Oops. You can just take this folder, move it to your R4's SD card. Alright, now when that's done, you're going to hit eject just to prevent any corruption. And then you're going to want to put it back in your R4 card. So once you have it booted up to the R4 menu, sorry for the quality by the way, you're going to want to go to GBA Backup Tool in the, um, in the SD card. So you're going to go to B GBA Backup Tool, the NDS file. Please set target card for slot 2. That just means the cartridge we're going to use, so you're just going to hit OK. Alright, if you can vaguely see that, um, you're going to hit R until it says ROM Backup. Now that it says that, you're going to hit B, New GBA File Create. And hit A. And that just means it's installing the game's file onto your SD card. Once you see your game in the menu, that's what the what it is right there. You're gonna want to shut off your DS and put the SD card back in your computer. So from here you're gonna want to open up File Explorer. Open up the removable disk that corresponds with your DS's SD card. Go to GBA Backup and click on the file that your game is. Mine is Sonic Advance 2 as you can see right here. So you're going to want to open it up in the Visual Boy Advance emulator to test if the game was ripped properly. If it does not run, you're going to want to just do it, repeat what, I, what we did earlier. So the game started properly. So that means it can we can put it on our 3DS. So to put it on your 3DS, we're going to have to have a special tool that will generate a 3DS package file called GBA Ultimate VC Injector. And we're going to open up this GBA temp thread. We're going to click on the mega download link. The latest version is 1.6 as is this video. And then click the gray button. Download through your browser. So we're going to wait for this to download. We shouldn't take too long if you're on a relatively fast connection. You're going to save this 
to your folder dedicated to doing this. All right. So once that's downloaded, we're going to want to extract it to wherever. You can use this, but I prefer to use the 7-zip. So you're going to want to go to your DSS SD card again and grab the game file and put it in your folder. All right. So here's where it's, it gets a bit tricky. The 3DS does not like um, how this game saves. So we're going to have to download something called SRAM patch. All these links will be in the description. So we're going to click on GBATA from robhacking.net. Click download file now and download the file. And we're going to put it in our tutorial folder. So you're going to want to open up GBATA. Go to SRAM Patcher. Open up your game file. And click on the patch button. So now now we can um we can install this game on our three DS by going to Ultimate VC injector and we can open up the Game Boy Advance file. We go to our tutorial folder. You're gonna wanna click on the output version of this game. And then now that we patched it, we're going to have to click on SRAM. So now we're putting in our values for right here. Um, an interesting thing I've noticed is that the long name and the short name are actually swapped. So you're going to put in Sonic Advance 2. It doesn't matter right here, so they can be the same. And for game publisher, read on the cartridge, it is THQ. load icon image so you're going to want to go to Visual Boy Advance again you're going to want to go to the title screen and then you're just going to want to hit screen capture save to the full and now you have an icon for the game Load icon, and there you go. Right, next step. And there you go. Something you may want to do is put at the released year just for authenticity. And, well, it's. <laughs> Two thousand three. So next step shuffle these just for good measure. Hit and then click finish. And now it's converted so it'll run on a three DS. And then I'll show you how to install it using FBI. Now we're gonna put the file on the three DS's SD card. And to avoid avoid damage to the system, we're gonna completely power it off by holding the power button and then clicking the power off button. Now, once the blue light comes off, it is safe to remove your SD card. Now, as soon as you have your 3DS's SD card inserted to your computer, you're gonna want to open it up and don't touch anything in here. If you once you mod your 3DS, that can really fuck it up. So, it's going to open up your CIS folder. If you if you don't have it, if you deleted it, you're going to want to just make it again. Move your CIA file that you just generated. You know, copy it over. All right. 
So now you're going to want to put your SD card back in your 3DS after properly ejecting it. Alright, so now you have your SD card inserted back into your 3DS and you're just going to want to turn it back on. And we're going to open up FBI. Now, if you don't have FBI, you obviously haven't been paying attention to the tutorial and the fact that you have to mod your 3DS to do this. To mod your 3DS, just follow the, the link in my description. Alright. Go to SD. CIAs and your CIA file you just generated. There it is, Sonic Advance 2. Install. Wait for it to install. Once it's installed, you can just hit home. And once that pops up, you should have your game right there. And unwrap it. I'm gonna start it up. So There you have it! That's Sonic Advance 2 running on a 3DS. No tricks, it's real. And we did this all with real hardware.